Well, welcome back and welcome to lesson 17, video number two. So a short video, we're going to upload our captures to our Google Drive. And if you remember, we did it in last lesson. I'm in my freshman health folder. Um, we're going to click on the upload, which is right next to the create button of our Google Drive. I'm going to navigate to files. And again, we're looking at the desktop. And on the desktop, you should have those four captures that you just did in the previous video. You're going to scroll down to where you see it. There they are. I'm looking for captures one, two, and three. You see I'm dragging and selecting all three. Clicking on open. We're uploading it to a shared folder, so I'm clicking on upload and share. And we're going to click on start upload. Okay. Now the names are the same, capture one, two, and three but the dates are different. So make sure that you're submitting the proper one. I have four captures from a previous upload, and that's how it's going to be different from the previous one. Same names, but different times. So I'm looking at capture one, two, and three that we just did it. Now, where does this go? You're going to be clicking on your personal fitness page of my personal wellness. And if you remember, at the top of that page is the personal fitness document, which you should have typed in your answers to. And underneath that is your chart. And again, your chart should be all set. And underneath that, we're going to be putting it down here. Okay, so in order to get there, we're going to go back to the edit button at the top of our page. Click on edit. I'm going to scroll down quite a bit. And underneath this, we're going to do two things. One, we're going to put a table that is a two, one by a two by one table. Okay, and we're going to insert the image and we're going to upload the images okay i'm going to choose my files and i'm going to select all three captures okay i'm going to upload it from here and remember it's still on my desktop so i can upload all three i'm going to click on capture one and that's going to upload and then i'm going to upload my second one Again, this we're only doing this if you can't have access to it. And there's my second one and my third one. Click on capture number three, and we're just about done. Thanks for being patient. Okay, so I've uploaded everything. Our first one is going to be this blue one, which is our physical activity target. Click on that and hit OK. That's going right there in our left cell of our table. I'm going to click on insert again. I'm going to put capture two, which is our meter, to the right of that. And then underneath both of these, I'm going to hit return. And underneath both of them, I'm going to insert our third and final capture of the entire project, if you can believe that. We're going to hit OK. And there it is. And then, as always, we have to hit save. Now, if you were doing this from home and you weren't able to do all the captures in the class, you would have to download each one of these from your drive, from your Google Drive. But since I still had them on my desktop, I was able to do that. So let's scroll up to the top so you remember what the page looks like. I'm on personal fitness, and my personal fitness document, and my personal uh, my fit chart, and underneath that, and my physical activity target with my weekly total and my total physical report. Okay all finished and complete so what i want to make remind you everything should be done at this point if you missed food labels and some of you unfortunately did due to the storm you can go back to lesson number 14 and watch that the next part of this lesson is going to start dealing with the annotated bibliography and the wellness goals as always you're going to go back to your mpw checklist and on the mpw checklist you're going to start filling in everything that you finished so this is up to date Okay, if you have any questions, please ask your teacher and good luck with the remainder part of your project.